obviously there's a big difference between being 18 years old, full of energy and enthusiasm, and being 61 years old, defeated, disappointed, and suffering from many infirmities. <clears throat> when it comes to calibrating um, your audience and what sort of um, picket you want to inspire from them, you know, I used to get lives talking about some of my adventures. But although it was attributed to what was being sold as my jealousy, Steve Langer, who once said he's not sorry for anything he did, only that it had to be me, and Leslie Couch, who was my unrequited um, lesbian affair lover, uh, and that my behavior with her was passionate like intimate lesbians was unrequited. Langer and Leslie had a, 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 an inside joke going. It used to bother me. I was deaf. I couldn't follow the conversation, but they would sit on the stoop when I was around. And Steve had asked me, did I tell Robert Fripp when I hitchhiked from Pittsburgh to St. Louis to hear him play? And when I met him after his uh, free concert, at Streetside Records in July of 1979, I believe it was, that I tell him that I had come all the way from Pittsburgh hitchhiking. I said, no, I didn't tell him. I just wanted to hear the concert. And Steve really laughed at that. He couldn't, he couldn't get enough of it. It was like an inside joke. I think what I was saying was that the Jewish community and the high school Team, the Fern Hollow Bridge Gang in Pittsburgh were astounded at the way that I was constructing a personal identity despite the severe trauma I had been through, and which had all been scripted and agreed upon by administration to represent me not as a hostage but as a complicit juvenile delinquent. They must have split their sides laughing. That I was pulling myself together and recovering while leaving those central questions unaddressed because I had what they knew was alexithymia, a rare Holocaust survivor condition um, and traumatic neurochemic am amnesia. They knew that. They knew that I didn't. And they couldn't get enough of how funny it was going to be to watch the whole thing explode and then say, Help, help, come to our rescue from Devil Jimmy to the Democrats and administration who knew also what was going on. Well, you would think when a child, 18 years old, deaf from a poetry group like the governor's school comes hitchhiking to St. Louis from Pittsburgh and you hear about it and you're what he said was working for the preservation of life on this planet to me. And interested in 18 year old students, he said 18 was ideal for psychological reasons. You would think he would be generous hearted, was he? Well, if you read my blog, you'll see the criminally insane acts of torture and mayhem they brought down on me. Through the Juffin Corporation, with the help of an employer named Amanda Harcourt, an attorney named Amanda Harcourt for the Warhol Confederacy, and her, and hired attack prostitutes who pushed themselves on me when I was in trauma and in trouble as a 12 year old, so that they could sell blackmails to Peter Gabriel when he was ready to pill for a script they had planted on me. The script was blurry to me. She was a 12 year old who was always inferring, implying that I didn't love her because she was ugly and Jewish. So I wanted to reassure her that I cared about her and thanked her for her attention. She was always saying how much she loved me. It got more and more spiteful till she finally said love in jest. 
she used to call me on the phone when things like uh, Jim Crow, she died. Well, and you know, she refers to the call I got when Roberto Clemente died. And it never occurred to me that I was dealing with a segregationist army who had written their own rules. I began to become a little bit frightened and uneasy when Ryback showed me um, some state secrets and I decided to talk to Wesley Pazfar, who'd been my father's employer at the University of Pittsburgh. And um, he had someone counsel me who knew about those kinds of things. And it wasn't something that anybody felt needed to be prosecuted. After all, I hadn't asked to be shown these documents. I hadn't taken anything from them. I had just been shown them and wondered, why am I being shown these? It was sort of strange to me. I didn't identify them anyway with the love letters that were as thick as a brick. And um, the old lace of my great-grandmother's um, napkins in the cabinet of our dining room. I never tried to hide them from anybody. I certainly didn't know what they were. But chart, chart, chart comes the Obama administration. And if you want to know what they did and how cinemaphiliac it was, they took the letters from a uh, agent who was in, in, installed inside the house from Fox Studios a so-called brother-in-law, very talented individual, to spirit away to their true authors while they sold a storyline for no less than John Shulman, who was rusted in an $8 million museum heist about me. It was totally untrue. But Fripp didn't dilly-dally. He said that I was a, some kind of um, immoral monster trying to make out on his name um, and my god what had i done to deserve that i had simply shown my appreciation for his music by hitchhiking from pittsburgh to st louis just to hear him play i didn't even tell him i'd done it i wasn't after anything and but he made himself out to be all all super honest, super perceptive, you know, reading between the lines. All he had to do was hear something once and he could tell immediately what was true. And he never even bothered to evaluate what he was getting from poachers and secret tapes that he was making illegally of me, which anybody could have inferred from when they heard them what was going on. If, especially if they knew the context. He didn't bother with any of that. He was too busy cutting and pasting them into what can we make of it. Um, creativity happy, avant-garde character assassins. Lie after cowardly lie. Unending malice. Poison. They poisoned me repeatedly in the stomach. Permanently injured from these grunts. In the heart. Permanently injured from these grunts in the mouth. Permanently injured from these grunts in the facial nerve. Permanently injured from these grunts in the brain. God knows what's next. They tortured me. Nobody ever questioned them. Nobody ever cared. Nobody even dilly-dallied over the facts of my sincerity and what really went down with me or the evidence. God help us that somebody would say the word evidence to these monstrous presumers selling their fraud well i got into some of the details of the fraud of course they had escalation dominance what's escalation dominance mean it means if you tell on us we're going to tell on you really loud what do you mean tell on me telling me about what you're going to tell people i was tortured and poisoned you're going to help me is that what you mean by telling me no son we're going to say that you were glue sniffing and stealing cars with your fans what did I have anything to do with reality? I was hiding in the top shelf in the towel closet. I hitchhiked to St. Louis in part from trauma from these affairs. I went deaf. We had to sell our house and move to get away from them. I was biting my fingernails bloody. I was crying and pleading for help. And people would say to me, oh, friendship is friendship and business is business. You got anything to sell? We'll buy something from you. We'll buy $200 synthesizer for 75 bucks. And this is what they were doing. 
and they were make Sean Shulman was, you know, evidently working with a guy who putting me places. I never was doing things I never did. They made it out to look like I was a reckless school, I'm a reckless van driver around a school bus. I was a passenger who quit the job every day. And so. They evidently made Lakey Chubbs pornography of me on Mount Desert Island. They were putting me at risk of, they said, contagion to say that, and they were saying, oh, he's a germophobe, so stick scabies in his clothes. This is what Fripp did to me. After I hitchhiked from Pennsylvania to Missouri, just to hear him play his music, we'll put scabies in his clothes. What what kind of freak out zombie and justification is he get? Because Reagan, you said you're suspicious of Reagan. Did you read my criticisms of Reagan? They were about the arms race, the underground nuclear tests, the anti-communist gibberish, the psychopathy of its um, cloniac war in Central America, his cloniac activities in Iran Contra, his bellicose, mind shattering insults towards my father's generation of liberals. And it just got worse and worse and worse. Criticism, editorializing. That's what, what you know, you're gonna put scabies in his clothes. That you're, you're, trying to, you're trying to steal John Lennon's legacy, they started to whisper behind my back. What, I knew nothing about it. And they couldn't wait to see me discover. They sat there licky taps, wait till he discovers. And they and they make off with the, and that, their ball game was all in semiotics. If you look at the Telltale script, you can see where Shulman's game produced Alpina with Magno Watt for the leaky tops of the NAACP. They had Ringo Starr, Midori Goto, Barack Obama beat Catano Pussy Ball where they had an uh, Indian woman sleeps with the white, the white. So the Japanese woman owns black men, and she'd already agreed. We'll compensate him. We'll freak him out, and we'll say, "See, he thinks he's going to get an Eastern girl because he wants to capitalize on John Lennon." But that's Lennon's Britain and Japan, not queer balls America and Japan. It's East West Circuit, the main East West Circuit. They this is where the central characters Leslie Katz held her graduation party as valedictorian of Elvis Girls School outside Cyril Weck's house on East West Circuit Road in the Jewish Holocaust survivor community. They spray painted in 1966, I love Sarah Sarah on the garage door in back of my house and took a picture of me in front of this 1966 Kodak dated picture. Okay, and he claimed he, that John, Kennedy's brain was stolen from the National Archives. Somebody should check his safe because he was the one who was in there looking for it, looking at it. And did they check his briefcase when he reported it stolen? And he's and he, John Shulman was arrested on $8 million museum heights. This is what I'm dealing with. Okay. I'm dealing with crack pot criminally insane people had their own ideas of, um, social fusion. They could set up a shack, build the shack, and chase the little kid into the shack with a big titty Italian girl. What's the matter? You know, like, and that, and then they get their jollies from blackmail forever after. And this is at men in the University of Pittsburgh. That's why they call it Pitt and CMU, Church Military Union and Pitt of Hell. That's where they put this whole thing together as part of their Donkey Express Index system of war college index and they brought me to come to come as poison happy they poison me in the mouth god knows what they're going to do next they rip or murdered shannon harps they chased the letter that i wrote to courtney kennedy and murdered two more kennedys there's no telling what these freak out sadists from the west coast will do next it's absolutely in, it's a, it, insane what they have going and nobody put any checks and balances on them ever. And it's all because of this flippy tune with his Pekistan's mania that he thinks he's the guru of Shimish holy cadaver, abracadabra, that he can just see what is true, see what is true with his magic eight ball. And then he calls up Dugan and Putin and Trumpy tune. It says, I can see what is true. 
and it's all exactly as we wrote when we wrote the script calling Queerball comedy. It's all exactly as true as written, smush it in his face with soldiers and fortune images of people with their brains blown out. Make sure he understands that he's next. He's next, and we'll make sure he's next by zapping a bystander outside the clubhouse, by zapping Cersei Kennedy. Zap, 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 right between the eyes, zap. And then we'll say he tried to steal John Lennon's East-West Circuit. And they have it all in film semiotics to pouch. So so Obama said, I'll take that. And Lewis Laugham said, we're going to give it to him. And Martin Sheen says, he gets it. And Midori Goto says, shame on you, queer ball. You were having extramarital sex on campus. Don't you know better than that? Six feet apart or six feet under? Don't you touch? And the people who were making fun of that, like the Zappa saying you know, sarcastically Howard Stern stuff, were actually trying to get the victims to spread the virus on their side so that they could turn it into a plague mass army that would just take out it the United States at the count of three, one, two, three, take it out and build up behind our backs a neo-NATO European royalist culture. And all I did was say, this is politics. You have to deal with politics as high politics or not. I stand by what I said about Reagan's waste and waste, tax and tax and spend and spend on military hardware because and taking it out on poor people because they couldn't defend themselves. I don't take any of that back. Ming no one and Schwarzenegger made it look like I was framing him. I wasn't framing him. I said, be careful. It looks like you're getting set up to take fall for this stuff. And it turns out from all of the evidence that I've assembled that he was behind it, they were preemptively trying to prevent the evidence from being evaluated properly. And they say, well, we have the, you know, loophole that allows us to make up the mayor logo with all the top secret information. Because you think Lenin was like Kung Fu, number one. Well, no, you're alive. That he used a double and as a, as a dupe. That's what dupe means. It means to dupe, to double as part of a semiotic plan to perpetuate the genocide formulas of the old Axis system. Lenin stepped out and then be just like starting over, we'll be in charge again. We'll be back in charge and the Krokag reduced the Corona, that Yoko Ono woman will vindicate Tojo Rona and she'll get the black man to come. And he'll say, charge the damn Yankees who betrayed us charge the white imperialist who betrayed us charge the white system of government that granted us equality so that we can be rich hollywood movie not moguls like spike oldley like spike oldley yeah 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 yeah